So now let me discuss about the parasympathetic nervous system. If you take this particular parasympathetic nervous system, the neurotransmitter in the parasympathetic nervous system is the acetylcholine. So remember the principal neurotransmitter is acetylcholine. Right? So for the parasympathetic nervous system, we have the preganglionic fibers and as well as the postganglionic fibers. So you take either in the preganglionic fibers as well as in the postganglionic fibers, the principal neurotransmitter is the acetylcholine. All right. So acetylcholine is a neurotransmitter in the preganglionic fibers and as well as the postganglionic fibers. Now, you take another name of this parasympathetic nervous system. Because acetylcholine is a neurotransmitter in both preganglionic and as well as postganglionic parasympathetic nervous system, this parasympathetic nervous system is also known as cholinergic nervous system. Right, this is also known as cholinergic nervous system. Now, let me discuss about where is this particular acetylcholine synthesized and how will be its metabolism. So, if you take this acetylcholine, acetylcholine is synthesized from two substances that is acetyl CoA when it combines with choline. Right, acetyl CoA when it combines with choline that will result in the formation of acetyl choline. Right, that will result in the formation of the acetyl choline. Now, this acetyl choline, whatever is formed from acetyl CoA plus choline, this is stored in the cholinergic neurons. Right, this is stored in the cholinergic neurons. Okay. Now, now this particular acetylcholine, whichever is being synthesized in the cholinergic neurons, whenever these cholinergic neurons are stimulated, then acetylcholine is released from the cholinergic neurons. So, whenever there is stimulus for these cholinergic neurons, then acetylcholine is released from this particular cholinergic neurons. Now, let me discuss the synthesis and metabolism of the acetylcholine. So if you see here, this is the cholinergic neuron. So within the cholinergic neuron, the acetyl plus choline, both of them they combine to form acetylcholine. Now this particular choline is uptaken from outside. So we have choline. Okay. So acetyl plus choline will combine to form the acetylcholine. Now the acetylcholine whichever is being formed is taken up by the vesicles and it is taken up by the vesicles and it is stored within the vesicles. The acetylcholine is stored within the vesicles. Now once the cholinergic neuron receives the stimulus from the vesicles the acetylcholine is released from the neuromuscular junction. Now the acetylcholine whichever is being released it will undergo metabolism in the presence of acetylcholine esterase into choline plus acetate or in other way around if it is not being metabolized this acetylcholine it acts on the muscarinic receptors and as well as nicotinic receptors. Now this is the synthesis and as well as action of the acetylcholine. Now, there are many drugs which act to prevent the synthesis of acetylcholine or the drugs which will prevent the metabolism of the acetylcholine. Now, let me take up the drugs which will prevent the synthesis and as well as metabolism of the acetylcholine. Now, so first you take the 
first step that is choline now for the synthesis of acetylcholine you require acetyl coenzyme a as well as choline now the choline is uptaken from outside we have a drug which is called as hemicholinium right we have a drug which is called as hemicholinium so remember this particular drug hemicholinium will inhibit the choline uptake right so what it will do it will inhibit the choline uptake okay so that is the action of the hemicholinium so once the choline is not uptaken then acetylcholine synthesis will not occur that is the first step where the acetylcholine synthesis can be inhibited next you take the second thing even for example acetyl coenzyme a and choline will combine to form acetylcholine that is taken up into the vesicles now there is a drug which will inhibit the vesicular uptake of the acetylcholine now what is that particular drug which will inhibit the vesicular uptake of acetylcholine is vesamicol right so we have a drug called vesamicol so if you take this particular vesamicol vesamicol will inhibit the vesicular uptake of the acetylcholine all right so it will inhibit vesicle uptake okay it will inhibit the vesicle uptake next that is the second step at which the acetylcholine synthesis can be inhibited now now the acetylcholine whichever is formed has to be released from the cholinergic neuron now this particular release can be inhibited by a toxin which is called as botulinum toxin okay so if you take a point here we have a toxin called botulinum so what this botulinum will do is botulinum will inhibit the release of acetylcholine okay so it inhibits acetylcholine release okay so that is the action of the botulinum toxin now you see here once the acetylcholine is formed that has to be metabolized in the presence of acetylcholine esterase into choline plus acetate now we have a group of drugs which will inhibit this acetylcholine esterase and these are called as choline esterase inhibitors right these are called as choline esterase inhibitors so once you give choline esterase inhibitors they will inhibit the acetylcholine esterase and thereby acetylcholine will not be metabolized to choline plus acetate all right so this is completely about the synthesis and as well as the metabolism and the drugs which will inhibit the synthesis and as well as the metabolism right let me shortly revise remember in the cholinergic neuron the acetylcholine is formed how is it formed by combination of acetyl coa plus choline that will result in acetylcholine the acetylcholine whichever is formed is taken up by the vesicles now the acetylcholine is stored within the vesicles once the cholinergic neuron it receives the stimulus then acetylcholine is released into the neuromuscular junction and the acetylcholine whichever is being released into the neuromuscular junction in the presence of acetylcholine esterase is converted into choline plus acetate or if it is not being metabolized the action of the acetylcholine is on the muscarinic and as well as the nicotinic receptors now you see here there are certain drugs which will inhibit the synthesis and as well as the metabolism of the acetylcholine you take at the first step the choline has to be uptaken from outside the cholinergic neuron 
this particular choline uptake will be inhibited by a drug which is called as hemicholinium. So hemicholinium will inhibit the choline uptake and once the choline uptake is being inhibited then the acetylcholine synthesis does not occur. That is at one point where the acetylcholine synthesis can be inhibited. The second point where the action of the acetylcholine can be inhibited is now once the acetylcholine whichever is formed is has to be taken up to the vesicles within the cholinergic neurons. Now there is a drug which is called as vesamicol. Right there is a drug which is called vesamicol. What this particular vesamicol will do is vesamicol will inhibit the acetylcholine uptake into the vesicles. And thereby the storage of the acetylcholine will not occur. Next, the third point where the acetylcholine synthesis and metabolism can be inhibited is the acetylcholine whichever is stored within the vesicles once it receives the stimulus the acetylcholine has to be released from the vesicles. Now we have a substance called as botulinum. Right, botulinum. What this particular botulinum will do is botulinum will inhibit the acetylcholine release from the cholinergic neuron. Alright. Now that is the third step where the acetylcholine synthesis and metabolism can be inhibited. The next thing is you take the acetylcholine whichever is being formed in the presence of acetylcholine esterase is being metabolized to choline and as well as acetate. So we have a group of drugs which will inhibit this particular acetylcholine esterase which is called as choline esterase inhibitors. Choline esterase inhibitors will inhibit this acetylcholine esterase enzyme and thereby acetylcholine cannot be metabolized to choline plus acetate. Alright, so this is completely about your synthesis and as well as the metabolism of the acetylcholine.